firefighters and pilots train a lot because we want to be proficient at what we're doing. But there is risk to all these trainings. And, you know, sometimes these things happen where the training goes wrong. And you can see this aircraft was in the St. Mary's River. So today we're going to go over the NTSB final report from June 18th, 2021, Yuli, Florida. So the flight instructor and the pilot proceeded to do usual training over a river for an instructional flight. Radar data indicated the airplane completed several 360 degree turns at slow speed, about 800 to 1000 feet above ground level. Um, the observed maneuvering was consistent with the performance of the slow flight. The last radar turn was 300 foot feet south of the accident site at 800 feet above ground level. Several witnesses at a nearby boat dock reported the airplane descending into the river at a near vertical nose down attitude. One witness stated that the airplane was circling and turning while descending. Another reported the airplane descending nose down in a corkscrew path. The witness observ observations were consistent with the airplane have entered an aerodynamic stall and subsequent spin. Two of the witnesses recalled the engine was running when it hit the water. Airplane sank about 17 feet. So here you can see their flight path as they were doing the 360s over the St. Mary's River. Is that a, a procedure to find some kind of safe open area or a river to do your training? They were doing that slow uh, flight training. It was this aircraft here, a Cessna 150L, November 1300, Quebec. One pilot, one student, uh, both uh, did not make it on this one. So very sad as, you know, they're trying to do these training but it's a fine line between, you know, training to try to, you know, solve a stall and then actually stalling and crashing. So firefighters are on scene. They're going to have to go out there and try to find the aircraft and see if there's any survivors. It was 17 feet below the surface. And then also see if there's any environmental issues they're dealing with. Was there any fuel spills and stuff like that? And then get the aircraft itself out. So a big operation here. And then you want to preserve evidence for the NTSB to have that job of um, figuring out what happened. So this was the flight school, Ascent Aviation Inc. above the rest. And the flight school that operated the airplane reported the minimum altitude for recovery during air work, including stalls and slow flight, was 1,500 feet above ground level. Another student who flew the same with the same in flight instructor earlier that day reported that the flight instructor routinely conducted air work below the 1,500 foot minimum. It is likely that the flight instructor allowed the student to stall the airplane at low altitude and delayed remedial action. The airplane subsequently entered a spin in which the instructor was unable able to recover from impact so very sad i want to know what you guys do when you guys train you know we hear dan grider and all of them saying you know you need to practice these um, maneuvers so that you know what to do if it happens to you for real um but yeah it says 1500 feet minimum is that what you guys uh train at this is the flight instructor information 66 year old male um and then the student pilot was an 18 year old female she got into embry riddle she had a lot uh, going for her so very sad here is the uh, weather report um, vmc winds were at seven knots and then this is the tail number there again and that aircraft in uh, very bad shape as it was pulled from that saint mary's river they left uh fernandina beach Air uh, municipal airport and the probable cause for this one is the flight instructor's decision to conduct slow flight training at an altitude below the flight school's minimum recovery altitude and his delayed remedial action when an aerodynamic stall occurs. So very sad. We're just trying to learn. I'm not trying to bring up um, these things to, you know, say that the pilot or, or the, the instructor was bad. But, you know, this is the ceremony they had for them. They lit candles. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he was an instructor and, you know, they they were just training. So hopefully there is some lessons to be learned from this one. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Arfaram Kioni. I'll see you guys next time.